Oh man. Ah, oh, geez, this is. Wow. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. Um. Well, hello. <clears throat> Welcome to another down the rabbit hole video. Uh, we're kind of talking about PlayStation VR, but not entirely. This is kind of not even talking about a movie which I'm watching. I'm watching Mortal Engines. Uh, this is a very interesting film that uh, we checked out. And when I was watching it, I thought, you know what? This looks like it would look spectacular in 3D. And with the PlayStation VR headset, you can actually watch movies in 3D. So I got a 3D copy Blu-ray here. When watching it, really enjoy it. It's a Hard to explain. It's a fanciful idea of like where cities can move around as if they are vehicles and it's got a a little bit melodramatic kind of a, a tinge to it. It almost uh, reminds me, watching the movie, I remember thinking to myself, this is like anime but filmed with real actors and in spectacular 3D. So I kind of recommend it. Now uh, this is actually weirdly a food tasting video which you can tell from the thumbnail. Um, there's a bit in this, so uh, Hester Shaw, which is our one of our main characters here, the girl with the scarf over her face, uh, she, I won't go into the details of the plot, I recommend you check out this movie, and if you can, watch it in 3D, uh, but there is a part about halfway through the film, the bad guys decide to release a mechanical, almost like a Terminator guy to chase Hester Shaw. And it turns out they have a history together. And that was the turning point for me with the film. Up to that point, I was like, this is, this is dumb. And then this bit with uh, his name is Shrike. The, the story took a very interesting, dramatic turn. And it's actually very touching. And that was sort of where I started thinking, I, I really like this movie. And I ended up buying it on uh, Blu-ray. Um, there's a, a bit between... Hester Shaw and Shrike, that I remember thinking to myself, that's a can of uh, Campbell's Cream of Mushroom Soup. He's feeding her to keep her, like he, he mentions, the living must eat. So he throws food at her, and it's because it's in the far future, it's only stuff that's been packaged for a long time. They had a Twinkie at one point in the movie as well. Uh, so he gives her a can of Campbell's Cream of Mushroom Soup, just plops it on a, on a dish and gives it to her, and I thought... You know, I've had a lot of people uh, mention or enjoy my video of eating a potato like a Martian, which is actually a reference to in the Martian film, uh, Matt Damon's character survives by eating nothing but a potato for months or years on end. And I thought, when I saw this bit in um, Mortal Engines, I thought, huh. So he gives her just a can of cream of mushroom soup, nothing else, like just plops it onto a plate and gives it to her. Let's see what that tastes like. So I found an appropriate style factory for having my soup. I've even got my can here. Let's open it up and uh, plunk it out there like you see in the film. Now to get the shot ideal, so we do have Cramble's cream of mushroom soup. To get the shot ideal, it would be nice if it just sort of oozed out on, in one fell swoop like a giant cylinder. Let's see what we can get here. close. I'll take that. And my only regret is, unlike the movie, I can't quite squeeze off a piece. Well, I guess I can. It's a little softer than is seen in the movie. I guess it just aged over the centuries. Okay, well, unfortunately, my dining area doesn't look anything like the machine kind of uh, home that Hester Shaw had with Shrike. But I thought I would at least wear something kind of uh, ragged and tagged and looking like, like she does in the film. So, now that we have our um, cream of mushroom soup right out of a can, we've tried squishing off a little bit. Um, what's it like to eat? And again, I'm just primarily curious because the eating uh, potato like a Martian video did quite well. And I just thought, yeah, okay, here's another strange film reference. Very easy to do. Let's try it out. So, like the movie, let's see if, if I can pull off a little wedge of it. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's try that out. Now, 
Now I like cream of mushroom soup. So this should be easy. Um, yeah, it basically tastes the way you would imagine. It's, uh, it's cream of mushroom soup condensed down without any of the cream or the milk in it. So this would be a very easy thing to dine on. Now, as it so happens, I've got a proper spoon here. So let's actually eat it a little more like we normally would. Just take a, a blob of uh, cream of mushroom soup out of the can. And it's, it's all right. Yeah, I could survive like that. Totally. I mean, there's not really anything about cream of mushroom soup that requires heat. The cream was nice. It gives it its soupy quality. But just imagine cream of mushroom soup, not taste-wise, but um, texture-wise, a little more slimy. That's basically what this is. This is, uh, you know what, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past somebody to actually have this as kind of soup on the go, in a way. Something you could just chow down on, on your commute, on, on transit or something. and It's perfectly fine. Yeah, all right. So there we go. There is cream of mushroom soup, like as seen in Mortal Engines. Highly recommend the film. See it in 3D if you can. Otherwise, it's, well, it's an all right film, but it really works in 3D. And the, the whole bit between Hester Shaw and, and Shrike really turned the story around for me in a way that I quite enjoyed. So, cheers. Until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.